Hi everyone, welcome to Reveal Works. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that I am here. I come with good intentions and I want to um, encourage you and empower you this morning with uh, something short when it comes to creating your ideal body image. I just came out from a sales uh, meeting and as a mindset and high performance mentor, I have mentors and I have other coaches that are coaching and mentoring me. So we are going through a five day um, training of sales uh, mindset, the right mindset when it comes to sales. So as we were conversating back and forth, and this was a big, large group of uh, people, um, we understood that most of us have a difficult time when it comes to sales. Now, how does this apply to your body image and your fitness? I'm going to share it with you just now. You see, when we talk about sales, sell, selling and buying or, or giving and receiving, we must understand that when you give something, that means you're not in the possession of it. So right now, let's say that um, your body image is something that you have. But this image, the body image that you have, you don't want to have. You want to give it up or you want to give, give up uh, your weight. You want to give up the body not being toned. You want to let go of it. But you must replace it with something else, okay? Because in the giving away of this or in the selling of this and you don't want to see it anymore or it's not in your possession anymore, right? Someone else can take that place. Someone else can be overweight, but not you. Someone else can have a body that's not toned, but not you. So you're letting go of this body image of you, but you must replace it, right? You're buying something else. So what are you buying? You see, my personal assistant and I were talking this morning about this awareness, this conscious awareness that is in all of us, but it's not always awake. This conscious awareness is referring to that vision or that higher version of you, that ideal body image of you. And you must understand that when you enter into your conscious mind, your conscious or your awareness or consciousness, that is the pen. It's like a pen. You know, when you do Photoshop, you wipe away, you remove, you add, you take away. In the same way you enter in your imagination, which is a gift of mind, you have six gifts of mind, but imagination is a tool of mind, and you enter into your imagination and you're building, you're tracing with your consciousness, that means consciously you're aware of the features of your body right now, and you begin to wipe away and you begin to add and take away. Whatever you're adding, you're buying, whatever you're taking away, you're letting go. The, the purpose is to not focus on what it is you're letting go of, but the purpose is to focus only on what it is you want to receive right? Or what you want to replace it with. The same thing goes in sales when it comes to selling anything. You must be willing to let go of your product and service, right? In order to receive. So understand that if you focus again too much on what you're letting go or too much on what you're receiving, you become imbalanced. You want to enter in neutrality. But let's, let's talk about this higher awareness or this higher uh, version ideal body image of you. As you begin to focus on it, right, even before you do these exercises or while you're doing the exercises, what's, what's happening is the more you build that image inside of you or you hold on to it through persistence. And persistence is every time you look in the mirror and you see the body part that you just photoshopped in your mind, right? Let's say you removed uh, a few inches around your waist, but you're looking in the mirror today and you see those inches. That is an opportunity especially if your mind says, oh, but look, you still have that. That's an opportunity for you to go back and connect with that higher body image of you, with that higher awareness. And here what, here's what happens. You are here, but you want to be here. The more you connect with what you want to look like, the more you connect visually or internally through imagination, okay, the more you're rising at, at the level with it. And the way you rise from here to here to match that ideal body image is from decision to decision. For example, you made the decision to work out. First, it starts with a decision to change your ideal body image and you see it and you shape it in your imagination. Then to get you from where you are to where you want to be, it's going to be from decision to decision to decision to decision. You're going to find yourself making decisions like I have. I walk in the kitchen and I go, hmm. That bread, I've been eating it for so long. Maybe I need to cut away from the bread. Maybe I, because internally you have the answers. But now what's going to motivate you and empower you is that vision. I don't empower you. I don't, I don't, um, I don't 
or I empower you, but I don't motivate you. If you're looking for a fitness guru to motivate you and to have you jumping up and down and doing all kinds of exercises, that is just motivation from the outside. And whatever comes from the outside is not part of you, not yet. So you must understand first you must you you come into agreement with that ideal body image of you. That's who you buy and sell with. You buy and sell to yourself first, and then you buy and sell on the outside. Meaning, all of a sudden you see an ad on your Facebook or your Instagram coming up with a specific diet. Maybe on the channel that you are on, maybe you're watching a YouTube channel or you have a YouTube channel yourself, and all of a sudden you see someone posting something and you go, huh, that's interesting. How did that come up? Well, you must know it came to you. It's for you because everything that you need contained within every decision that you make, there's also the resources, all right? All these ideas, I'm, I'm not going to eat the carbs. I am going to eat vegetables. All of a sudden you see a video popping up on how to cook vegetables, certain vegetables. Now you understand that came to you. It speaks to your heart, but you will not know it speaks to you. You will not know it's for you unless you create this ideal body image. That means you will not know what out there, the resources that are, th are out there, you are not going to know if they're for you or not. How do you know if you don't know where you're going? If you don't know where you're going, that vision, that awareness, higher awareness of you, how are you going to know how to take the path, the ideas, the resources, and everything that comes your way? You're going to dismiss it because without a vision, you don't have a plan. A plan comes as a result of a vision. So when you build your ideal image, that's the vision. That's where you are going. And built without that in that vision, there's also the resources or ideas that are going to come to you. Why? To welcome you into that ideal body image. So for example, this workout channel is welcoming you. It's a resource that is coming into your life to help you with your mindset on how to build your ideal body image. And also do the workout. So contained within this resource, my channel, you have the uh, opportunity and empowerment how to build the right mindset I'm teaching you how you operate and how everybody operates in this reality and how reality is created and also doing the exercises that I know personally are going to benefit me because my ideal or my vision for myself is to have a lean body to be very flexible that's my vision and I also want to have toned abs toned arms torn glutes and toned thighs so those are the exercises that I'm going to do that are going to lead me to that. It only takes seven minutes a day to work out, okay? You don't need to work out more than an hour a week. And if you want to know more about that, you can check out Mind Valley. The founder is Vishen Lakiani. I admire him. And um, he talks about not having to work more than 50 minutes a week. So you've got to be consciously aware of the exercises that you're doing. Okay, so that's enough encouragement empowerment um, let's go and do a little bit of um, the exercise okay and because I like flexibility it's obvious that I am going to try to be flexible and I am going to stretch now you're gonna find me talk a lot in these videos because as a coach and mentor I, I speak I am a speaker but I want to say this Maybe you are thinking about getting married, okay? Uh, maybe that's a vision of yours and you want to fit in that dress. That's a vision, that's a goal, okay? So know this, that even beyond or past your marriage, you still want to have an ideal body image. Once you build this image of you, it becomes your cybernetic system, which means there's a thermostat inside of you and you are not going to gain that weight after you get married, okay? So what I'm teaching you here, it's something that is going to last you a lifetime. That is why the benefits of being in this, on this channel and continuing to be in this channel, on the channel with me, is that you are going to learn something permanent. It's, you're not going to go from exercise to exercise or diet to diet. You're also learning how to build and create your life in every other area, okay? So, um, today I'm gonna, I would like to work on my abs and my arms, okay? So I'm gonna go down and 
We're going to do 20 exercises on the abdomen today. We used to do 10, we're gonna do 20. We're going to pulsate three at the top and then come down. So here we go. One, two, three, come down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I would say let's work on our glutes and thighs for a few minutes. Turn to the side, bend the lower knee, upper leg, point the toes down, okay? And we are going to bring the leg up, bring it in and go out until you feel that the back side of your leg is, um, there's an intensity to it. So don't do this exercise uh, by routine. Be consciously aware of what's happening, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's bring it up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit yourself up. Let's go to the other side. Or I'll tell you what, let's do the arm exercise. Okay, let's go down 20. Make sure you put your um, upper body weight um, onto the arms so you have the right weight for yourself to actually work the lower of the back of the arm. Okay, let's do 20. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna feel this. 11, 12, it also works your back. 13, 14, 15, 16, ooh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. All right, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, let's work the other leg. Bend the lower leg, point the toes down, bring the leg, leg up. Bring in and out, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toe down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. There you go. Lift yourself up. Now you can do some stretches if you want. I actually feel the back of my arms being worked on. I feel um, the glutes and my thighs being worked on and maybe a little bit of my abs. You can stretch to the other side of the room. Okay, so add some stretches. If that is your intention to be able to have that mobility and agility. Okay. So you continue to stretch as long as you want. I just want to make this short 
um, video. It's about 15 minutes long, so I don't want to take more of your time. Um, listen to the video again and take in consideration what I have shared with you. This is what I teach my clients, um, how to set up goals in their personal life and business. And um, I help my clients to change their mindset so that they can perform at the power and the ability that I can see within them. And I trust in you and I believe in you. And I want you to understand that this teaching that I'm sharing here with you comes from none other than uh, one of my coaches and mentors, uh, Bob Proctor. So I want to pass down to you um, the teachings that I am being taught and I want to use them in my personal life even when it comes to my physical body and my health. That's an important aspect of our life. It's a ma major area of our lives. So I want to benefit you what I have been benefited with, okay? Thank you everyone for being here with much gratitude. This is Lumi, I know.